Welcome, this is William Derek Johnson with RPG A Day. Uh, question blah, 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 blah. 25. What makes a good character? Well, I thought I'd introduce this to um, responses from several of my characters. First up, Kale. Slate. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, I'll answer anything about it. Yes, what makes a good character? Or whatever you want, Master. Yes, yes. Um, just um, so long as we do not go near the drow, we'll face off the spiders, and um, yes, um, yeah, just stay away from the spiders, and we'll be all fine. But yes, whatever you say, Master, that I'm sure that is what makes a good character. Madad. Why, yes, my Madad. I shall fight. I shall go out there, and I shall throw them to the ground. And I will burn them, and I will rip off their mask, and I will show them that it is I, Madad, who is the mightiest, the strongest, the best. And then we can have Taler. Oh, yes. A good character. Well, um, they say that the other characters in uh, my merry band, um, they they say they're good. Yes, so um, I believe them. They, they have strange things, morals. Um, they, they, they decide to vote amongst things, to decide things. They're just let the strongest decide. Um, they are strange in that way. Unusual, bizarre. But yes, I guess they are good. Yes, I suppose. Um, they must be. Um, and they, they seem quite... A, I believe I'm good too. I'm excellent. I'm amazing at what I do. I'm very good at killing people. Well. So, those were three characters I've recently played. Kale, a escaped slave. Madad, a luchador. And Tyler. A Namibian bastard. <laughs> so, what makes a good character? What makes a good character is someone who is cool, someone who is amazing, someone who is memorable, someone who is interesting. You go on a game with a char one of my characters, you will remember them. They are ostensibly <laughs> cool and interesting people. They're weird, they're wild, and they sort of push the boundaries a bit. Because playing D&D, who wants to play or orc, elf, dwarf, human, fighter, mage, cleric, thief. If you're playing Shadowrun, you know, a rebel without a clue, fighting against the man, why not be the man? Be the Mr. Johnson. Be the corp rep who comes along, just to keep an eye on all you scum. So yes, push the boundaries a bit. Vampire. A vampire is essentially a game of cool people who are who also happen to be vampires. And you can be anybody a vampire. You can be someone who's 10,000 years old and still be, many, you know, 12, 13th generation. After all, you can skip through 10 generations in two weeks. Vamp A bites, Vamp B bites, Vamp C bites, Vamp D, E, F, G, H, K, Vamp. To whatever, to your character, that can happen in two weeks. It doesn't take three millennia. Hmm. Um, or you know, someone totally new, or someone in between. Or play the prince, be the prince, be the primogen, be the be the sheriff, be the enforcer of having to deal with all these utter lunatic anarchs and idiots and dimwits who seem to have no concept of what the word masquerade means. But always have a cool character, have a cool character concept. Have something awesome. Have something interesting. Have something that makes everyone else go, wow, yes, that's why we're playing. So yes, have a cool character, have an interesting character. Have someone who is fun to be with at the table. 